applying a tattoo by hand. This is the way uh, people in a lot of times in jail, sometimes in, even in the military in different places, uh, if they can't get to a tattoo shop or uh, just don't really care what the tattoo looks like, they might go through a very crude method of applying a tattoo called hand poking. And when you apply a hand poke tattoo, which I have had done to myself when I was younger, um, I'm going to pretend that this is a, a regular sewing needle. What you would do is take some thread and you would wrap thread around this needle until you had about an eighth of an inch of the needle exposed and the thread wrapped probably about the same amount up the shaft of the needle. The reason you wrap the thread, the thread acts as your reservoir just the same as your tattoo machine here. You dip your, um, your needle and thread into the ink, the ink gets caught on the thread and then as you go along poking every time that needle touches the skin, that ink drips down into the hole. It's very painful and uh, can take a long time to do a very small design. So it's something that you might want to steer clear of unless you just absolutely have to have something done. But I would, uh, I would suggest uh, go a different route than hand poking. But that is how it's done. Uh, a lot of times the pigment used, uh, if a person can't get a hold of a professional tattoo machine or a rotary machine, they probably don't have access to good ink either. So you're probably going to be getting some pigment made out of ashes and water and toothpaste and God knows only what else. So be very thoughtful if you, uh, if you are planning on getting a hand poke tattoo because it is the least desirable method of getting one. This is a hand poke tattoo setup. Uh, you got your sewing needle and you get some sewing thread. You wrap it around the, the tip of the needle like this and, and leaving a little bit of the needle exposed at the bottom. Once you've got that done, you've got the, the uh, thread secured, you dip that whole shoot match down into your pigment, get that thread soaked pretty good. Try to do this without dinging your needle if you're planning on doing this. And once you've got that thread saturated with pigment, then you've got your uh, design drawn on or, or with a stencil or whatever, then you just start going down that design, poking over and over, right on the line that you want to make. And you have to poke it uh, in pretty fast succession and pretty close to one another. So you've got a line. You have to build a line when you're doing it like this. So and, and you'll probably have to, to do quite a bit of dipping in your ink to keep that, that thread saturated. But that's what you do. You just dip it in there, saturate the thread, and then start poking pretty quick, right down your design until you've got your desired thickness with your outlines. 